Are you tired of Roblox running slow, lagging, and dropping FPS after new update? Well, in today's video, we're testing Plexity vs. Voidstrap, the two biggest Roblox FPS boosters, to see which one actually gives max FPS and lower ping after the new patch. So let's get straight into the video. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Alright guys, let's start strong with one of the most powerful yet super simple tweaks that can make Roblox run buttery smooth, especially if your PC is a bit older or struggling with FPS drops. First, go down to your Windows search bar and type, Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Once it appears, click on it. A new window called Performance Options will open. And trust me, this is where the real performance magic begins. Inside this window, you'll see a huge list of visual settings that decide how your system looks and feels. To make your system faster and snappier, select the option Adjust for Best Performance. However, if you still want your computer to look clean and readable, keep these two boxes checked. Smooth edges of screen fonts. This keeps text looking sharp and clear, not jagged or blurry. Show thumbnails instead of icons. This lets you see small previews of images and videos instead of boring default icons. Once you've done that, click Apply to save the changes. Now head over to the Advanced tab in the same window. Under Processor Scheduling, select Adjust for Best Performance of Programs. This tells Windows to focus your CPU power on Roblox or any other active game, rather than wasting resources on background tasks. Step 2. Use Quick CPU to make your CPU run at full speed. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now, your CPU is basically the brain of your PC. It decides how fast everything runs, including Roblox. But by default, Windows slows it down to save energy, which is terrible for gaming performance. We're going to fix that by using a free tool called Quick CPU to make your processor run at full power all the time. Start by downloading and installing Quick CPU. Once installed, open it up. At the top of the window, you'll see a power plan dropdown. Select Ultimate Performance. This plan is designed to keep your CPU fully awake and active, ready to deliver maximum speed for Roblox. Now scroll down to the sliders section and adjust them all to 100%. Core parking, 100%. Keeps all cores active so Roblox can use your entire CPU. Performance, 100%. Ensures no part of your processor is throttled. Frequency scaling, 100%. Locks your CPU speed at maximum. Turbo boost, 100% lets your CPU push beyond normal limits when needed. After setting all of these, click Apply, then OK to save your configuration. Next, open the Advanced CPU Settings tab. Enable both Turbo Boost for short bursts of power and EIST, Enhanced Intel Speed Step technology, which helps your CPU manage its clock speed efficiently without ever slowing your game down. Once everything is set, close Quick CPU your changes will stay active automatically. Step 3. Use Plexity and Fast Flags to optimize Roblox performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Next up, we're going to test Plexity, a special Roblox launcher built for optimization and FPS boosting. Plexity used to be incredibly powerful, offering smooth gameplay, reduced lag, and better stability. However, after the latest Roblox update, some users have reported that Plexity causes errors or even fails to launch Roblox properly, and that's why later we'll move on to Voidstrap. But let's still go through how Plexity works for those who want to compare performance. Download and install Plexity from your FPS Boost Pack. Search for Plexity in your Windows search bar and open it. You'll first see a clean setup screen with options for light mode or dark mode. Choose whichever you like. After that, you'll find Roblox priority settings. This controls how much CPU power Roblox gets. If your PC is on the weaker side, set it to high priority so Roblox gets more CPU time. If you multitask a lot, like recording or streaming, normal priority is more balanced. Once done, Plexity confirms the setup is complete. Inside Plexity, enable these options for performance. Check mark clean Roblox temp files. Deletes leftover cache files that slow Roblox down. Clean Roblox logs removes log files that build up every session. Enable multi-threaded rendering. Makes Roblox use all your CPU cores. Allow cross-game teleportation limit. 
speeds up transitions between games. Optionally, Plexity also has bottleneck detection, which identifies if your CPU or GPU is the problem, but we'll leave that off for now. Now head to the Fast Flag section. This is where the big performance jump happens. Turn on Refresh Rate Unlock. This lets Roblox match your monitor's refresh rate, e.g. 144Hz equals 144 frames per second. Enable Max Frame Rate. Removes Roblox's FPS cap. Set Texture Quality to Low. Ideal for low-end PCs. Use DirectX DX as your render mode for best compatibility with Windows. You can also visit the Plugins tab for extras like Ping Display and Uninstall Tools. To import your Fast Flag presets, go to Editor Settings, Add New, then paste your preset from your FPS Boost Pack and hit Save. After that, launch Roblox directly through Plexity. Many users have seen up to 200 plus FPS this way. However, if you're facing launch errors or crashes after the recent update, don't worry, because Voidstrap completely fixes that and performs even better. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 4. Boost Roblox FPS Using Voidstrap and Fast Flag settings you can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now let's move on to the star of this guide, Voidstrap, the newest and most stable launcher after the Roblox update. Unlike Plexity, which is currently having issues launching Roblox for some players, Voidstrap works flawlessly and delivers higher FPS, lower ping, and smoother gameplay. Open your Windows search bar, type Voidstrap, and launch it. Inside, you'll see multiple tabs like Settings, Deployment, Modifications, and Fast Flag Editor. Each one plays a unique role in optimization. In the Settings tab, you'll see options like Player Logs and Multi-Instance Launching. Adjust them as you prefer. Then go to the Deployment tab and turn on Cross-Game Teleportation and Multi-Instance Launching again for smoother switching between games. Next, open the Modifications tab. Here, you can enable custom sounds, classic visual effects, and other nostalgic tweaks. But the real magic is in the Fast Flag Editor. This is the powerhouse of Voidstrap. It shows green check marks for preset flags and red X's for custom ones, making it super easy to manage. Use tools like Copy All Flags, Find Flag, or Import JSON. To apply your custom FPS boost settings, click Import JSON, paste your Fast Flag codes from your pack, and save them. Then check the Fast Flag Settings tab. It comes with ready-made optimization profiles for higher FPS and lower ping that you can enable instantly. Voidstrap also includes Appearance and Shortcuts tabs, similar to Blockstrap, plus an experimental AI chat that explains flags in simple terms. Super handy for beginners. After saving your settings, launch Roblox directly through Voidstrap. You'll immediately feel the difference. Higher frame rates, no lag spikes, smoother visuals, and stable ping. Step 5. Use MSI Utility V3 to make your GPU respond faster. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Finally, let's fine tune your GPU. This step reduces delay between your graphics card and Windows, making Roblox visuals more responsive. Open MSI Utility V3 from your FPS Boost Pack. In the list of devices, find your GPU. It'll say either NVIDIA, AMD Radeon, or Intel. Check the box under the MSI column beside it, and then set Interrupt Priority to High. This tells Windows to give your GPU the highest possible priority during processing. 
If you see an integrated GPU Intel HD slash ARC, you can also enable it the same way. Once done, click Apply and close the app. From now on, your GPU will communicate faster with your system. Roblox will look smoother, react faster, and deliver stable FPS even during intense moments.